From the Injustice Files, that little girl is one heck of a cheerleader. Look at her go. She's 16. Her name's Brittany. She's been cheering for three years. She's darn good. And now she's not allowed to. And that's that. She was sent to the stands and told she was a liability. But the school won't say, at least publicly, why. Why she's a liability or why she's a liability any more than anybody else. I want to bring in our legal analysts on this, uh, Danny Savalos and Jeff Gold. Jeff, let me start with you. Why? Uh, it's a very good question. Why is she more of a liability than anybody else? Well, you know, there's a whole question of the ADA here, and they have to strike some kind of balance. Americans on the... with Disabilities That's Act. That's right. Yeah. Uh, they have to strike some kind of a balance because, after all, she is disabled. But she has a right to participate. They're going to end up doing some kind of a deal, some kind of an agreement that allows her to participate, but at the same time, maybe keeps her away from the stunts, you know, things that might be more dangerous for her. So they have to consider that, but at the same time, they have to let her participate if she can. Understandably, Danny, the, the federal guidelines don't allow that school district to tell us uh, publicly all of these very private uh, details and issues as to why they did what they did. I think that's fair. Well, yes, but one of the things we're focusing on too is the uh, Americans with Disabilities Act, but even before that, this is really an issue of school liability. When student athletes sign on to play, irrespective of even of their disabilities, she was already on the team. The school's concern is that she may get hurt. Number one, most people who attend an athletic event assume the risk that they may be hit with a ball or something else. And number two, as a high school athlete, I sign my life away on waivers. I don't see why her parents can't do the same for her. So I think the school has gotten itself into just a bit of a pickle on this case. All right, guys, thank you for that. We're going to continue to watch this. The school district did say, look, there's a lot of rumors going around that aren't true. Uh, she is still an honorary member, and they have met deals in the works. We'll continue to update you.